Good day, everyone. May God bless you, all of you, wherever you are. May God be with your family. Today's program, we are going to have another story of someone who faced the fire and the earthquake. But the good thing, he overcame. Pastor Roger is here with us in the, in the studios. Good day, Pastor Roger. Good day, Pastor Walter. Good day to all the assistants. Yes, let's hear the story of this assistant because it will surely bless you as well. So after the testimony, we'll be right back with you with a moment of meditation. My name is Silo Mohadi. I'm 53 years old. I've been serving God for eight years. I have seen fire and earthquake. Twenty seventeen I was falsely accused. The police they said I have committed armed robbery. I stay in prison for seven months. There in prison I never lose faith. I was there praying with other inmates. Every day we were praying, making services. And whenever we went to court, we, I was even praying in the, in the police car. I was praying for all the inmates. And I used to encourage them to speak the truth because Jesus said the truth will set you free. They will speak the truth and they, they, will, they will see the power of God through that. Some of them, they were even released, although they were in, they, 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 they committed a, a crime, they were released because they test the weight of court. My last court appearance, I remember when uh, the complainer came to, to give testimony. When I went to court, I pray a lot. And uh, I even faced a uh, persecution inside. Uh, the, the inmate, you know, they are the, we have those who don't believe in Jesus. They used to say, uh, we are making noise for them. They used to say, Jesus Christ, he, he was from Israel, not from Africa. But we were there praying, asking God. I was even fasting because of that the last appearance when I went to I went to court. Uh, the prosecutor want to the case to to be postponed more because I was innocent and I trust the weight of God. I said no my God this this time uh, I'm revolted against this situation. This situation because I know that I'm innocent then um, the magistrate uh, said the prosecutors want to, uh, the case to postpone for next month. The, the magistrate said, no, these people, th these men have to come tomorrow. Then when I came tomorrow, he said, no, you are innocent. You can go home. I was very happy. That's why I'm uh, encouraging other assistants to remain in faith, even though you face any kind of problem. Remember that God is with you. Very well. Great story of this man. What he, what he went through. But it's exactly what God wants to do in your life as well, to give you victory. Today's meditation, we are going to meditate in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 10. It reads, Bless are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You see that the Lord Jesus already urges concerning 
the persecutions. What Baba Selo went through, injustice, persecutions, you may, you, you face in the same, and, and you, you have the question, where is God? Why he is, he allowed me to go through this? But this make part of those who are in the journey of faith, Pastor Roger. Yes, and when we face injustice, our faith is awakened. We have even more authority to cry out, to, to say, my God, I know I'm innocent. I know I haven't done this. So you have to show yourself. And unfortunately, Pastor Walter, sometimes those who face injustice, they turn against God. They give up on God. They blame God when it should be quite the opposite. Your faith should grow. Your faith should become even stronger because you are facing these situations. So what do you do recommend you? Meditate the word of God. Because indeed, you are going to find all the answers for your questions. See what the prophets in the past, in the ancient times, our prophets facing. The Lord Jesus Christ himself. You are about us. We are servants. We indeed, we are going to face whatever is, is necessary to remain in faith, to conquer the highest, the kingdom of heaven. Now it's time for the prayer. Prepare yourself the moment to talk to the Almighty God. In the name of Jesus, my God, we present to you the life of this person who's praying with us now and is facing injustice, persecutions, problems coming from every direction. We do not laugh when problems come, but we can use our faith in order to reverse this situation. And this is what we ask you, my Lord, to show this person that these problems are going to become a strong testimony. And one day, through this testimony, many others will receive strength. For sure, Lord, problems will always be there. There is no way to really follow you. Indeed, in a sincere heart, in a desire to inherit in the kingdom of heaven, it is impossible. We don't go through tribulations, persecutions, as happened with you and the heroes of faith in the past. So therefore I ask you, strengthen your servants, strengthen them in the moment of illness, in the moment of persecution, in the moment of suffering. In the name of Jesus, this is what we ask you in Jesus' name, Amen. My dear friends, we arrive at the end of our program today. But we'll be back uh, certainly to give you more a word of, of faith and also for you to attend this testimony. Because when I say attend, it means for you to listen carefully and see what God has done through faith. Pastor Roger. Yes, and you can always recommend this program to your friend, to, your, to the other assistant, because through the questions, through the testimonies, through the messages, that assistant will also receive strength from God. So, may God bless all of you. Bye for now.